it's Jongs here, and today we are doing the insides of my high school remake. And as you see, there's some classrooms that are already made, and I guess I just forgot that I was recording. It's been a while. I my plan was originally to post this like last week, but then I forgot, and then I worked on another video. No, not last week, but like the week before that. But then I worked another video and then I thought I was gonna post that and I like forgot to post it so it didn't even post and I, yeah. My life has kind of been a little bit messy right now. I'm in the middle of moving so that's why it's a little more echoey in here than it usually is. It's because it's a little empty. But okay, to the build. This is the headmaster's office and you'll see the decor here. I put a little tissue box and that is because there's memories from a meeting we had with the principal and some other faculty when I was in high school because I was getting burnt out and um, yeah, that's why this tissue box is there. Um, so as you see, this is how I use the toolbox as well. Toolbox, tool mod, is that it's so easy to duplicate shelves. And if you saw my video from the last week, I made these like custom shelves, which I put in my Sims room the room i'm sitting in right now which is supposed to be stripped in two days i kind of just realized i've been chilling okay i i have been having like major anxiety attacks for like a week uh because it's change and it's hard and i'm a wee baby so it's very hard for me so i just realized that i'm moving on sunday and so I just had to pack a lot today and now it's actually starting to become empty and that is also why I am doing this voiceover and everything I just need to be on little grind to get videos up and after this one I am gonna pack my mic and everything in boxes to move to a new town and a new education and even though I have trauma of this high school I'm very grateful because it has led me to where I am now so here I'm just doing some like meeting rooms like of course I wasn't in these rooms because I wasn't faculty um, but it's just like in my imagination how it was uh, also, I think like the janitor had an office like there in the end. I don't really know. Um, this is where I improvise on The Sims as well. As you see, I made it like a chess room and we didn't have that. Like in Sweden, we don't really have clubs like that. We have some like extracurriculars, but nothing is like merited when you're supposed to apply to college or university like maybe if like for a job if you were like student body council um but we didn't really have extracurriculars so because this is sims i made a chess club room to make it functional and useful for you in gameplay and yeah do you have extracurriculars where you live i guess most of you are from sweden so do you have anything on your school we have like a soccer team that wasn't really for our school but it was like someone in our school i don't know if it was their dad or something but they made a soccer team for female teens so a lot of my class and the class like in the same year joined it so that kind of became an extracurricular 
I wasn't in it because I have zero coordination for anything which involves balls. And uh, please don't take that out of context. Um, but you know, I never tried, so I wouldn't know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, um, not necessarily for kids. Um, so I just scrounge up what I could put on the walls here. This is a little, a little area. As I mentioned, I realized the stairs were in a place like that in a real building, but I was too far in to bother. So yeah, this shelf in my mind is a take and give shelf, I guess you can say. So. You know those like little libraries? Maybe you've seen a little shelf in the middle of the street where you can leave a book and then you can take another book. So that's essentially the function of this shelf. We have them in a lot of schools and a lot of communities in Sweden. I think they're more popular now because like reduce, reuse, recycle. So if you have something you don't want, you just put it on the shelf and then if it's something you find like, oh, I would really need that, then you take it. So it's like a take and give exchange program instead of just, you know, throwing it out. That's very handy. And if you're a student and you live with others, maybe like propose a like clothing exchange day that is very popular. So you leave some pieces of clothing and then you get like tickets for how many pieces of clothing you left and then later in the day when the organization or like whomever like organizes this thing takes the clothes put them up and then you basically have like a thrift market and you use your tickets uh, to buy new clothes so you exchange the clothes with others and it's a really good idea and it's very it's very like if you like thrifting you would love that and that's where you find unique clothes and it's also for free like you exchange stuff so yeah it's like a traders traders market you know it's very it's very nice uh, now I'm building the library and once again I've got that couch that we had in the library in the basement. Um, it was known for a name that I won't um, won't mention here, but essentially, yeah, things happen in the couch because it was a room you could lock and it wasn't a closed space. Also. Our school had like a student count of like 130 students and you may wonder like that's a huge building for that amount of students. Uh, we just like rented some rooms in this building um, so the entire building was not for us. We just had a small amount of it. Um, yeah. So, you know, close knit community and uh, yeah. Okay, um, <clears throat> this is the nurse's office. I went to her once and she offered me a massage and it was the worst massage I have ever gotten in my entire life. Uh, it was very weird and uh, I, I, I didn't go back. I can tell you that much. And this is like a counseling office. I don't really know if we have, okay, we had one, but since it was such a small school, you had to like book a time and then they would come when they needed to, I guess. Uh, but I will use this in my let's play that I will have over on my TikTok. I, like I said, I'm moving and I'm a little, I have recorded like the prologue and now I'm just thinking and planning how often I will post it and and such. Um, so it's still in the prep but I 
am actively working on it and I'm very excited to show you and it's a little different be from my usual like building stuff it's a little more story based and it's vulnerability and that's scary but it's time and I think a lot of you can relate unfortunately but also if you can relate it may be nice to you know know that someone made it through um yeah this corridor we had desk like that's supposed to be like a windowsill um i just realized the scale was off it was so off but you know at this point there was many points of this build i'm like should i just make the main building smaller but i was like oh i worked so hard with this it's been hours it's just, it's it's the way it is okay it's the way it is this is sims of course the scale is a little bit off maybe i will redo it in the future but for now i'm not it, it's the way it is um this is another faculty room uh, more of like the teachers lounge it's not the lounge you will see the lounge later this is like where the office is and once again i wasn't really in there i was in there like once to like I don't know had some questions and uh, this however is the faculty's lounge and i really think i did a great job it feels very cozy i had a little sneak peek in there i wasn't there there, there was actually a teacher that got in some trouble because he gave coffee from the teacher's lounge to the students and you know it wasn't that popular amongst the faculty amongst the students very popular so we had like a machine in the basement where you could have like cold tap water or you can have like boiling water and that worked like once every semester um but we didn't have coffee you know so sometimes you could just give him like your little thermos mug like to go mug and got you some coffee it was great and then i got in trouble well also there was a bathroom like that was basically in the like faculty lounge but it was just before you came came in and we had a classroom that we had we spent most of the time in on that floor and like the only bathroom on that floor was the one in the faculty's lounge so naturally you would just sneak in there and go to the bathroom and um people found out and then it got angry and it's like it's a bathroom why are you so mad <laughs> we did it anyways um <clears throat> so now we're in the like extended houses outside and these houses were those were like our houses for our high school and the main building was mostly for like the culture students or music students um so this is where we had the science lab and we had the dance slash dining slash classroom and i realized a missed opportunity of course put a sheer mat in there why did i not do that that is just stupid. Maybe I did it when I have started a gameplay now. I also put the like computer lab out there. So yeah, this is it. It's done. I didn't furnish the two floors upstairs. Uh, be, be free to do that. I just didn't see what I could do with it. Also, I wasn't on those floors because it was just for the music students. Make sure to let me know what you thought about this build and if you're going to use it. It's on the gallery at Janan24. And I will be using it in my list place. So follow me on TikTok at Junk's Builds. And I will see you next week in a new apartment. Bye, guys.